Jason Heimer at Cherry Creek Mortgage Company. I'm sending out a, an emergency job with Jason video. In fact, there's no job in today. It's all spark energy to keep up with the crazy real estate market, the mortgage interest rates, and uh, also the world in general. So uh, first of all, I hope that this video finds you doing well. I hope it finds you with your family healthy and uh, just figuring out your new normal. So um, I wanted to set up the video to explain to you what's been going on the past week in the mortgage market. It's been very volatile. Uh, and real estate mortgages and, and the stock market for that matter as well too. So here's kind of a timeline for you, okay? Um, so the market was cruising right along, um, all-time historic interest rates. We were seeing 30-year fixed rates in the low threes, which was never seen before. So what happened is an industry that can help about $1.5 trillion worth of mortgage loans a year, and that's everyone included in the entire nation, um, it was so low that about $10 trillion worth of business got dumped into the industry. So basically, if you go to a bar or a birthday party and you sit around a table and there's 10 people sitting there, everyone could pull out their mortgage statement and nine out of the 10 could do a refinance. So of course, the demand comes pouring into the business on a demand that no one can handle. The, the system would literally break to try to do that much business. So as of last Friday, something I've never seen happen in the mortgage industry, rates went from the low threes all the way up, shot up to the mid fours because of simple supply and demand. Hey, we can't handle it. We're raising our rates. Uh, right, like what you see a lot in other industries as well too. So to confuse matters worse, the rate shot up overnight, over a point, point and a half. Then on Sunday, they come out and the Fed says, hey, we're cutting the rates down to zero, 0.25% to be exact, right? And so, of course, a lot of phone calls, a lot of confusion, hey, my mortgage rate should be 1% or something even lower than that. And the fact is this, the Fed, when the Fed cuts the interest rates like that, it's affecting short-term money, okay? So think of it this way, if you have credit cards out there, if you have a HELOC on your house, a car loan, something short-term like that, you should expect lower interest rates. So we're advising all of our clients, go back to your credit card companies, go back to your HELOC to make sure that those rates are getting pushed down. Because this is kind of a crazy time. So even if you don't have credit card debt, go get a lower interest rate just in case you need to use it in the upcoming weeks, okay? Um, after they cut the rate, they also announced something called, and this is what you need to pay attention to, quantitative easing. Okay, so they did this back around the 2008 uh, to help uh, stimulus for the economy. And they approved over $200 billion of mortgage-backed securities, which basically is purchased uh, so in the future they can keep the mortgage interest rates low. So think of it, these, these rates will be uh, coming down and lower. So today, if you were to look at it and say, hey, what are purchase money interest rates? Where are they now? They've gone down from 4.5%. They're in the mid three, so they're super really good uh, if you're buying a house. Different companies have different stances on refinances, however. I tell you, um, one of our one of my colleagues, good friend of mine, he works at a mortgage company. There was so much refinance business, they literally said, we will not do any refinances. Stop the refinances period. We won't even take one, okay? Some, some lenders have higher rates because of the sheer supply and demand as well, too. Uh, but the bottom line is this. It's a very fluid situation, uh, for sure. I even saw Donald Trump, with, Donald Trump was thinking about sending out checks to everybody as well, too. So um, I can tell you this. This is the time to stay calm. It's the time to be positive. It's time to really, if you're talking to someone about a mortgage, your stock market, financial planning, trust the, uh, make sure you find someone you trust uh, that's gonna be brutally honest with you because there's a lot of bad information out there. There's a lot of people still trying to refinance people at higher interest rates. So um, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, but if you need someone that's calm, someone that's positive, uh, just give us a call. We're all here for you. Uh, we're working the skeleton crew. We got people at home, we got people at work. Uh, we're still doing mortgages. Here's the good news. Uh, last week, we had about eight to 10 people still buying houses. So the market's still moving. Uh, but in this market, stay calm, be positive. Make sure you wash your hands and uh, be safe out there. Call me if you need anything. Uh, my personal cell is 832-228-5626.